Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to share something with you. I just discovered this awesome verse in Matthew 53, 35. Jesus says that heaven is the throne of God. He says, heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is the footstool of his feet. So he's talking about uh, swearing. And he says, I say to you, do, do not make an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by earth, for it is the footstool of his feet. What is he talking about? Boom. The only way this can be understood is the flat earth model. Here is the throne of God. This is heaven. Heaven is the throne of God. God actually sits on top of the dome, according to the Bible. We are like grasshoppers, it says in the Old Testament, I believe in Isaiah. He sits upon the circle of the earth. Why this works only and the, and the, the modern uh, scientific model doesn't work, Lord, please direct my thoughts and words in this talk, is because the flat earth model, the earth is the footstool, meaning it's flat, okay? Is a footstool ever a ball? No, first of all. Second of all, everything in the universe is within this dome, and it's all above the earth. So God, he rules everything. He sits, and if earth is his footstool, it means that the earth must contain everything that he rules. How would this make sense if earth was a ball, just one of many planets, right? And there are all these other planets. Why would earth be his footstool? What about all the other planets? He's not ruling over them if earth only is his footstool. This is the perfect explanation. This is the biblical model of the earth. It's flat and circular. God sits upon the circle of the earth, and we are as grasshoppers, okay? It says that the earth takes shape as a seal pressed out in clay. There it is. And the edges are like the garments. All right, look all these verses up. I don't have them memorized, but you can Google them. So this is the model, guys. Now, it's also mentioned in Isaiah. Now, Jesus said that in Matthew. But it's also mentioned in Isaiah 66, 1, which maybe he was quoting. It says here, That is what the Lord says, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Again, there it is. All right? Earth is his footstool. It's a flat disk. This is where everything goes on. All of the activity of the universe happens above the earth, and it cir circulates around it. I had a friend, he doesn't know about Flat Earth, and I was telling him about it. Of course, he thinks it's crazy, but he was open-minded, and he was hearing me out, right? So he asked me the typical question, what about the other planets? Aren't they round? So I had to describe to him, right? And I said, well, look, you know, we have this certain model and conception of our mind that we're just one of many spheres, right? That's not what's going on. This is what's going on. And I said, the Earth is like the floor of the universe, all right? And everything else, all the stars, moon, sky, everything is turning around us. You can see this if you just Google it. Everything is going around the North Star. I mean, this is like just basic science. If you can somehow take your mind out of the mind control, right? Just do this prayer. God, please take away everything I think I know, right? And have, help me have a new experience with your word. Please help me see the truth. Thy will, not mine, be done. The set-aside prayer. Set aside everything you think you know and just come at the word as it is. This is his footstool, the earth. It encompasses everything. He sits up here on the sky. The sky is his throne. It means he's looking down on everything. This just hit me, guys. I was just reading it and it just hit me how this describes, what Jesus is describing here, is describing the biblical flat earth model. It's very clear. Now, it's also mentioned in Acts. Acts 7.49. So it's not just one place. It's all over the place. However, the Most High does not dwell in houses made with human, hand, with human hands. As the prophet says, referencing Isaiah, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Right? What kind of house will you make for me, says the Lord? Or well, where will my place of repost be? Okay? Has not my hand made all these things? God has made all these things. He's looking over the entire creation. The entire universe. The only way to understand this verse is to understand that the, the earth is a disk that spans the entire universe. 
if the sky is his throne and he sits up here and sees everything, obviously we know God, no Christian or, or godly or person who believes in God would say that God doesn't rule over everything. Okay? The biblical flat earth model shows the disk of the earth is here, st sun, moon, and stars, planets, go all around the earth like this. This is the model. Now, looking at a few other pictures of that, this is a good one here. All right, this is the biblical model of the earth. The earth is a big disk. There's water below, there's waters above. There's a firmament that separates the waters above from the waters below. This is Genesis 1, right? And God's throne is on top of the firmament. You can read about that in Revelation, a sea of glass, okay? This is the only way you can really understand fully what's going on in the Bible is to understand the science behind it. Right? Look at this. <laughs> it's a ball hat on the flat earth. It's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Satan loves to mock. Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. This is a lie, this tinfoil hat. This is the truth. This is the lie. Okay? You're not a spinning ball. And there's this ever-expanding universe when the Bible says that the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. It's very simple. It's just, this is it. This is it, guys. Check it out. Biblical flat earth. Look at this. This is heaven above and beyond the firmament. It's wonderful. Here's our continent. The water surrounds us, right? There's a wall of ice around us, about 100 feet high. Okay, you can see videos. Look it up. If you think I'm crazy, just Google it. Stop being a moron and Google it. All right, stop being a naysayer and believe in the devil's lies and believe the Bible. I mean, do whatever you want. I don't know. I get pretty passionate about this. There's land beyond here okay admiral bird took a trip out to the southern pole antarctica he said he found land and before you think i'm crazy just use google you know what i'm saying and you'll see admiral bird telling the story of how he went all the way out here and he found land the size of america untapped resources not even ice okay just land water everything this is the deal so this dome doesn't stop at the rim okay it goes beyond and at some point the physical firmament the word is firm rakia in the hebrew right this is a firm structure this firm structure touches down at some point into the land way out here admiral bird said that his planes were hitting something and exploding they didn't understand what it was it was mentioned in the 1960s encyclopedia the size of the firmament all right antarctic treaty you can't go here anymore what are they hiding right why are they censoring flat earth now why is the algorithm changed now that if you type in flat earth you get stupid stuff like this with the tinfoil hat on it right when before everything would come down boom, 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 because they're hiding the truth because the devil is a liar all right and they're from their father the devil okay now a lot of us are just deceived but please, let's let's just wake up. That's all. It's time to wake up. All right? So this Antarctic circle that goes around the entire Earth, that's just the edge of the land. That's all. Apparently, there's raised up land out here. If you look at the Book of Enoch, there's all kinds of descriptions of the what's going on out here and also in the North Pole, which is also ice. Right? The sun and moon go around like this. They go like this, so this is summer for them. It goes out more like this. This is winter for them. This is summer for those people in the southern, more southern places. Why is the equator always hot? Well, because the sun is either is very close to the equator, whether it's here or here. It's always in the general area of the central part. Right? Capricorn, Cancer, it works on a circle, a flat circle, just like it does on a globe. All right. So look into this stuff. Here's heaven. It's beyond the firmament. God's there with his people, or we will be there with him. At some point, heaven will come down to earth. God will rule from Jerusalem, right? The entire world will come and do the Feast of Tabernacles. We will all be following the Sabbath. From one Sabbath to another, we will be meeting with each other, guys. Pretty amazing stuff. Now, another quick thing that I've been learning is about uh, baptism. When you have baptism, it's not just a symbol. This is something I'm learning. This is new to me. 
all right i was watching a video from a really powerful ministry uh, it was a video called the last reformation and they did a whole documentary on speaking in tongues water baptism the holy spirit entering people expelling demons through the power of jesus name all right and they explained that when you get baptized there's a combination of spirit and water the water something happens when you hit that water and you confess your sins right you will you repent rather you repent you believe in jesus you you confess your faith to jesus you get immersed in that water there is something spiritual that happens i know a lot of people who have spiritual experiences from their water baptisms all right well why this is significant my friends is that the bible says that there's water in heaven there's water above the firmament so there is something spiritually connected to water i believe all right i myself love the ocean it's my favorite place in the world and i love to be in the ocean it's like i feel like i'm an ice cube in water right it's my favorite place i love it there's something spiritual about it to me also sorry i, I froze because i thought my my video stopped here so anyway there's something spiritual about the water all right friends so this is one my message today it was a little disjointed i just woke up and i just had to make it because it was like boom matthew 5 5 33 through 35 jesus christ says that heaven is the throne of god and that earth is the footstool of his feet i know i was amped up let's just look at it soberly now <laughs> right Heaven is the throne of God. What is heaven? Heaven's the firmament. Okay? Heaven is used in different terms. Sometimes it's so, right? There's three heavens. Okay? We know that from the Bible. First heaven is the air. Second heaven, some people believe it's the where the stars are. Other people believe the second heaven is actually the firmament itself. That is up for debate. What we do know is the third heaven is where God lives. Paul says he was taken up to the third heaven. So heaven is God's footstool. I'm sorry, heaven is God's throne. That could have many meanings. It could talk about heaven proper, the third heaven. Or it could be talking about this firmament. I believe it's talking about both, basically. Look, simple. Heaven, all this stuff, is God's footstool. Hey, I keep messing that up. Is God, sorry about that, is God's throne. All right? And earth is his footstool. Earth encompasses everything that we know of in the universe. In other words, everything in the universe is above earth. Okay? It is part of the universe. The earth expands across the entire universe. And the dome is above it where God sits his throne. Very simple. We just looked at three verses. If you don't want to believe it, I pray to God that you would open your mind and just accept God's words as it is. And you would have a relationship with Christ based on the word. Not based on science. Okay? This verse does not make any sense if earth is just one of many planets. Why would earth be God's footstool? Doesn't make sense, does it? it? It should say that the universe is his footstool. It doesn't say that. It says the earth. Therefore, the earth must be connected to the universe. Somehow, saying that the saying the word earth has to be synonymous with the, the universe, the entire universe, including all the stars and everything, because God owns everything. I hope I'm making sense here, guys. You might want to listen to this a few times and filter out like my character defects whatever is there pride ego whatever anger try to filter that out and just see the message that i'm saying it's i just want to bring it to you guys because i really think it's cool and it's truth because the verse again doesn't make sense if earth is just one of many planets how could it be his footstool then He's not looking at everything else, right? Is the sky over all the planets or is it just over Earth? 
right? Well, that's a tricky question because the sky is over the earth, which encompasses all the other planets, the entire universe. So I'm going to end there. I love you guys. Much love. Blessings from Messiah. Keep in the word. Keep loving life. Keep loving others. And keep searching. All right? God bless you. Shalom.